The question is how to get from A to B quicker and in a more sustainable way. The National Transport Authority says bus corridors and cycle lanes are the solution. It's not a pipe dream. This is now the start of the conversation about what the future sustainable transport options could be for Cork. Uh, and we want to move forward to now engage with the local communities, with business representatives on those options. Today, the National Transport Authority drove on and launched its plans for a 600 million euro taxpayer funded Bus Connects Cork project. With this investment, uh, by improving the bus priority, we can have the bus journey times across the city and allow the city to grow and people to make the choice of using sustainable transport. The ambitious project is expected to consist of 75 kilometres of bus lanes and 54 kilometres of cycle lanes. We want Cork to thrive. We want it to be sustainable. We want it to make it easier for uh, local communities to get to work, to get to school, to get to church, get to the pub, by bus and by bike and by walking. Cork is now considered one of Europe's fastest growing cities. This Bus Connects plan for Cork I think is the right approach. I think it can transform the city, bring life back into the centre of the city uh, and it's important. We need Cork to grow, to thrive and I think good, sustainable, active and public transport is key to that. There's been a 51% increase in the number of people travelling by bus in the last six years and should the Bus Connects project get the green light, it's envisaged Cork will become a better connected and more competitive European city. Paul Byrne, Virgin Media News.